Once you've powered on the splicer, wait for the screen to display its current status. Click the cleaver. That'll take you to blade management. The highlight displays where the current blade is on the cleaver. Now what you need to do to change that is arm the cleaver and hit the desired blade position you want to be. The best way to do it is stay consecutive. So we're going to move from blade position 2 to blade position 3 on the lowest setting. Now if you look at this horizontal wheel, this displays the height of the blade, low, medium, and high. You want to stay on low until you've gone all the way around all 16 times, then you move it up to medium, go around all 16 times, move it up to high, go around all 16 times, then it's time to replace the blade. I also have a video on YouTube for that.